Hi, I'm Robert Bruce. I'm the founder and general manager of experiential marketing at Sublime NZ. Well, I guess you could say I've had a pretty interesting career. Um, it started when I was six years old selling newspapers on the Upper Hutt train station, which is where I'm from. After I finished um, selling the newspapers, I uh, studied at Victoria University where I learned about hospitality management and tourism management because I, I thought I was going to work in hotels. And then after a, um, how would you put it, a uh, chance encounter with the Clio Bachelor Contest, um, I was flown up to Auckland and transferred to AUT University. In Auckland, uh, things are much different from a marketing point of view. Business is much bigger, um, all of the head offices are here. Immediately fell in love with, with marketing, so I transferred from tourism management to advertising at AUT and uh, thus started my career in, in marketing. At AUT, I learned all about strategic advertising management and marketing management and media planning and all that kind of stuff, and I was pretty convinced that I wanted to be working in a big agency. On the back of some experience I gained uh, interning at DDB Auckland, I was invited to DDB Sydney's internship program, which was a pretty big deal at the time. I was the only Kiwi um, to go out of hundreds of applicants, and that was pretty cool. And I packed up my life and moved to Sydney, because I was certain, 100% certain, I was going to get this internship. As it turned out, I uh, didn't get the job. <laughs> and I guess it was one of those defining moments in my career because I walked out of that office in, in Sydney and it was stinking hot and there's these promotional people on the street giving away some Lipton iced tea. And I said to them, I said, hey, who are you working for because you know, I really need a job and they said, well, walk up to this office and, and you know, fill in some forms and that day someone had walked out of the office um, who was looking after Vodafone, Nokia, Smirnoff and a whole lot of others. So this company said, Come work for us, you got a job today. Throughout my career I've always been open to opportunities and this was one of them. I walked into the office and immediately had this amazing job and for the next 12 months I was going to be touring around Australia with promotional teams promoting products up and down the country. So after about a year in Sydney, um, I've been managing promotions all over the country, I decided I wanted to do it myself. So at the tender age of 22 years old and knowing it all, uh, I came back home and from my parents' spare bedroom, I set up a company called Sublime NZ, which was to become um, one of the fastest growing experiential marketing companies in New Zealand, actually one of the fastest growing companies full stop. Starting Sublime NZ was really fun and on the one hand I would recommend it to anyone and on the other hand I, I definitely wouldn't recommend it to the faint-hearted. Um, being an entrepreneur in New Zealand and starting a marketing company is not easy. Sublime NZ was and is all about creating uh, special moments between customers and brands. We call that experiential marketing, the idea of bringing a brand to life and having a, a special moment. I think the exciting thing about starting a company is that it's all you. You live and die by the sword, you succeed or fail based on the amount of effort that you put in. They talk about the four P's of marketing, product, place, price and promotion. But I believe more importantly are people and passion. If you don't have great people, you're not going to succeed and if you're not passionate as a marketing leader, you're never going to get anywhere. One of the highlights of my career was actually the global financial crisis in 2008 and I call that a highlight because you just don't get opportunities like that to learn every day as a company owner. I mean the whole industry collapsed, everything changed and, and overnight we lost business uh, to the point where I had to make some staff redundant, uh, I slept on the floor of my office. It was a really tough time but you know what, what that taught me is the importance actually of what we do in marketing. We have to be showing return on investment. The most important thing to remember when you are a marketer or advertiser is who your customers are, what they do, where they live, what they eat. You've got to be 100% inside the head of your customer. I think the advice that I would give to anyone is that you've got to be out there and you've got to be networking and you've got to build your network of, of mutual value. You look after people and they'll look after you. But it's also about taking opportunities when they present themselves. Personally, I blog all the time, I call up Georgie Fam and I tell them about what I'm promoting this month, and I even get on the cover of Idealog magazine. 
I believe the CIM program is something you just have to be, you have to be in. In my line of business, it's all about building your profile and building your reputation and I believe this is another way that you can learn more, meet great people and enhance your career.